Hello, so it's December 5th, so it's day five of Vlogmas. And today's question, I need to look at it because it's a little, little complicated. So let me fight with my computer and pull that up. Okay, so this is a two-part question. And the first part is, do you remember before you were vegan what you would tell yourself and or others that you would never be able to give up? And then the second part of the question is, how do you feel about that food now? So I would say the quickest thing that comes to mind is um, milk. And I very much remember me saying quite a few times that I'd rather jump off a bridge than give up milk. And in this case, obviously, I'm talking about, or not obviously, because there's different kind of animal milks, but I'm talking about uh, dairy, cow milk. Um, that was because I was very, very, very much addicted to dairy milk. Uh, I remember easily drinking gallons by myself, and I pretty much drank, uh, I think it was like 2% milk. And so I remember I've said that, um, even, not even to vegans, but even probably to vegetarians. Um, another thing I probably said was probably something, there's, there's something on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember right now. But anyways, let me answer that one, the second part to that one first. So how I feel about that now, and I'll try not to get oh, too deep into it, um, but I, seeing cow's milk actually makes me sad. That is now my reaction to milk that comes from a cow. Um, it actually, truly, honestly makes me sad. That's with any, any dairy product, uh, milk or cheese or anything like that. It, it makes me genuinely upset and genuinely sad. And that's because I know what happens for the most part. And I'm not even going to go into the, the humane side of it or you getting your own milk from your own cows. Um, no, not, not getting into that right now. Um, however, if you look at the typical way that Americans get cow milk or dairy milk, my leg's falling asleep. Um, it's from a factory farm and it actually takes days. I think my one of my friends said it's like, by the time it hits the door, or the store, it's like already 45 to 60 days old, which is disgusting. But um, just for the reason why it makes me sad is that it affects every single life that has to do with getting the milk. So most people only think about the dairy cow, and they don't realize that in order to have a dairy cow, the dairy cow needs to be impregnated. And in order to be impregnated, you need a bull. So the bull gets abused and the dairy cow gets abused all of her life um, for being forcibly um, impregnated against her will. And then her child gets taken away and that goes into the veal industry um, unless they're going to keep the veal or sorry, sorry, unless they're going to keep the calf um to either be a bull for breeding or as a dairy cow, etc. And then all of them, all of them. So just say just the family unit right there, even though they were never ever a family because they were not allowed to be. Um, they all get slaughtered at some point. So milk, dairy milk at the very least. Um, there's there's whole other topics about goat milk and everything like that, but I've never, I never, I don't think I ever drank goat's milk because for that that was weird to me. Interesting. Um, but basically, if you just have it, for me at the very core, what I see when I see milk or cheese is I see a family unit that was never allowed to be a family and the abuse that went through all of their lives, whether how long or how short it was. Um, and it's just, it's sad. So that's how I feel about something that I said I would never give up. And now thinking about it, I feel so selfish for ever even thinking about that, but I didn't know better. So now I know better are now, now more informed. Um, something else probably, I don't know, probably something dumb like bacon or something, because everybody says that. It's like bacon, though. I hate that. Um, and how I feel about that now, and then I'll t tie both of them together, but how I feel about that now is that pigs are wonderful creatures. Pigs are amazing, adorable, hilarious creatures. And just just because you want, like, a slice of bacon, it's not worth their life at all. Um, 
And then how to tie them both together, I had a point to this and I just lost it because I heard a dog bark. The dogs are barking. Um, let me think. What was my point to both of them? Well, essentially, like I said yesterday, um, it's not food to me. It's just sadness and abuse is what I see it as. And a lot of people don't realize that. They just think I choose or that I cannot eat. I always say I can't eat that because I'm vegan. And in reality, it's I choose not to eat it because I choose not to partake in that type of system. A system dog barking. Um, speaking of an animal, I should go see what he wants. But I choose not to partake in that. So it's more of a choice that I have and... I, I'm not the type of person, I think my friends have even told me, my non-vegan friends, I don't push it on anyone. I don't want to push it on anyone. However, as soon as you have one question, I am right there with all the information that you want to know about any part of it. I will tell you the ethical side, I will tell you the health side, I will tell you my opinion, anything. But that's just me, that's how I operate. Um, Some other people are you know, pushy, which is just, you're just more direct and blunt, which is no, nothing's wrong with that. Everybody needs some sort of different way to learn something, regardless if it's something like veganism or something, some other topic. They, some people thrive on somebody telling them straight blunt, and some need to do their own research and then ask questions. All of those ways are fine. Um, but yeah, so I guess I answered the question, kind of gave two, two examples. And I will see you tomorrow, and tomorrow is about New Year's resolutions. And then it's a two-part for that again, so it's going to be two videos back-to-back -back about New Year resolutions. But bye!